The reporting on the event that prompted the strip your citizenship outbreak of legislative genius, the attempted Times Square bombing, continues to spin, continues to spin rather madly with very little mooring in fact. As far as we can tell here at this show, there are no new confirmable facts about this case today that were not known yesterday. But if you're keeping track, like we are, of the things that have been represented as facts in this case and didn't turn out to be facts, you'll notice that that list of, oops, I guess that isn't true things about this case has gotten pretty long. Once upon a time, for example, a few days ago, the guy suspiciously taking off his shirt in Schubert Alley just off Times Square, a white guy in his, in his 40s, he was supposed to be a suspect someone who was involved in the failed bomb plot, right? Now, of course, we know that the real suspect is Faisal Shehzad, a 30-year-old Pakistani-born American citizen. Since then, the more we've learned about Mr. Shehzad, the more we've gotten wrong. Remember when he was supposed to be from Karachi? And then he was supposed to be from Kashmir? And then he was supposed to be from a little village outside Peshawar? All facts, apparently, all simultaneously coexisting comfortably in the totally unskeptical news about this story. At first, Mr. Shehzad was totally part of the Pakistani Taliban, remember? They were claiming responsibility and everything. It was all planned and put together by the Pakistani Taliban. Well, then the Pakistani Taliban said Mr. Shehzad was not actually part of their organization, although they loved what he did. Now we're hearing similarly uninformed speculation about Shehzad's motivation, that he was retaliating for U.S. drone strikes in Pakistan. There's no confirmable fact that proves that's true, but that's the way it's being reported anyway. It may very well be true that that was his motivation, but I don't know. And here's the thing, neither do you. And neither does anybody who has printed anything about it in the newspaper as if it is a fact. Joshua Keating posted an item at the Foreign Policy blog today uh, about the fevered speculation that's passing for reporting on this story. I'm telling you that and naming him and putting an exclamation point on it because this one blog post at fp.com makes Joshua Keating a remarkable outlier when it comes to keeping one's head straight about this case. The lack of skepticism and the lack of reputable sourcing in the news coverage of the failed Times Square bombing has become one of the most interesting and certainly the most well-documented trends to watch as this story develops. We will keep watching it and we will keep making fun of people who get it wrong.